Yo, what up, though? Welcome to the Waves Verse. It's your boy, OG Tim Wilson. I am here um, chilling with the nasty boys, Big Ed and Ways. I mean, Rob45 and Ways. And uh... <laughs> still getting used to it. <coughs> and uh, I, I've, I've been you know, well documented that I've been under the weather, that I've been dealing with a, a health issue. And um, it's been, I had a setback, so we didn't do our shows over the weekend because I had a setback. Um, and, uh, you know, but we still, the, the fight continues and we still, we still doing what we got to do. So we are back though. We are back folks. And, um, and we are here with the Waze version. Waze, uh, what's, talk to me, man. What's going on? What's going on? on with the waves versus this time around uh this week well this season we're doing our mount rush we started that last week with our hip-hop one to hit one okay this week we're going to continue in the hip-hop um uh, and we're going to go with our beat makers our mount rushmore of producers hip-hop beat makers okay i'm, I'm with it i'm with it I was telling ways. I was telling ways uh, before the show. I thought we was doing the off season tonight because I was ready to talk about Cam Newton having a fight with the kids, and <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I was all set. I was all set for it, man. And next thing you know, I was, next thing you know, he come in talking, reminding me what the what the waves verse was about I was like oh yeah that's right but let me switch gears then so we, we here we go and i'm ready for it i'm here for it all right well you guys ready to jump right in i'm ready Let's go ready yeah i'm ready all right <laughs> who would you guys have in that far off number four spot at number four, I want to say this. My number, my number one honorable mention, I'm counting as my number five in this case. There was a blurry line between number four and five for me. Uh, sorry about that, that noise there, folks. Uh, there was a blurry line between four and five for me. It was very, very hard for me to decide. But two reasons I went with number four. One was, it was the first one, it was, I, I thought of that name first. I thought of that name before I thought of the other name. But the real reason why, I, the real reason why I stuck with number four at number four on my, on my Mount Rushmore is because during the pandemic, my good friend Latone Hart and I did a versus, our own version of a versus. And I won that versus and I won that versus as P. Diddy. I would be P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't have a party. I didn't have a party, so, so I, it was just about the music. So I got P. Diddy at number four on my Mount Rushmore. Okay. Okay. Uh, my number four, I'm going to put Manny Fresh. Ooh. My number four won narrowly my number four spot because it was a really close one between that and my number five, my honorable mention. Uh, but my number four is Kanye West. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, at number three, now I had two battles here. I had the battle between four and five, but I also had a battle between two and three. And my number three is Kanye West. <laughs> it was a tough call between my two and three, but uh, my number three is Kanye. All right. My number three is actually going to be David Banner. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, my number three is going to be DJ Premier. Oh, he was in my, he's in my honorables. 
Manny is in my honorables too, though. Oh yeah. Uh, Manny, before the show, before the show, way before, because because y'all got to know, Rob Rob was late. So before the show, me and Wade were talking about it, and I said I had probably four of my uh, honorable mentions that I had that could be in my Mount Rushmore, and Manny Fresh was one of those. So, so he Manny Fresh is in was in Rob's um, on his Mount Rushmore. He was in my honorable mentions, and so was Premier. Yeah, Manny Fresh was in my honorable mentions as well. Now, I got a quick question before we move on to number two here. Okay. Uh, who are some of the beat makers that you think are undervalued? Not necessarily close to even being close to Mount Rushmore status, but they did their thing and helped out the artists they've worked with uh, significantly. Well, it's hard to say that without going into my honorable mentions, quite frankly. Um I don't know. I, I I can't say. I, I can't say without, you know, letting my. As far as as far as people that gave contributions uh, to the game, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Red Alert. I don't know that he was a, a producer, but his contributions to the game early on, uh, I think goes uh, goes. These days, back then it was a big deal. These days, I think it goes a little more unnoticed and I, I had to hold the mic up to my face a little closer because I was noticing that as I was watching our shows back, I wasn't very loud and it's my fault. So I'm gonna go with Red Alert as my guy. Okay. Ooh, damn. I, I can't name one without going in my honorable yeah. mentions yet. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I just went away from producers and just guys that, that, that were, uh, Put major were had major contributions that weren't necessarily artists. Grandmaster Flash, Grandmaster Flash, yeah, yeah, African Bambada, yep. African Bambada, another one, yeah, by sh- for, for real. I got two that I guess technically could make people's honorable mentions, but not made people really acknowledge these individuals. Uh, DJ Unique. Uh, basically made the entirety of the first couple Bone Thugs albums. Now, didn't he come back to life in in uh, Raising Canaan? I'm just uh, for those, <laughs> those that know know. All right, they go, they go. Those that know know. If, if you don't know, just let it just, just keep on rolling. <laughs> and uh, Mr. DJ. Uh, worked with a lot of a lot more primarily with Outkast, <clears throat> but he's like responsible for Miss Jackson. Uh, so fresh and so clean. But that was a crew, though, right? That was a, that was a crew. The, the um, uh, what was their names? Because they used to record in the dungeon. Um, that was a crew. They did. I watched a documentary about them. It was it was a crew. They they used to uh, do it in the base. They, they they used to go. They called it the dungeon. It was one of those guys' basements. Uh, damn, what was that? Uh, their fucking name? Unorganized noise or some organized yep. noise? Something like that. organized, organized noise. noise. Yeah, yeah, organized noise. So they were a crew. I mean, I, I didn't put any crews on here, but if I was to put a crew, they would. They definitely deserve an honorable mention. Well, I will go ahead and get this <clears throat> out of the way. And they also did waterfalls. They mm-hmm. they were on my honorable mentions uh, for players ball. Okay, yeah, no, they did a lot. They did all of they did they did all that early out out, out cash. A lot of Atlanta stuff they they were responsible for yeah. in them in, in them in them early days. Okay. Well, number two. Dun, 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 dun. Drums, please. Number two, I'm going um, with a nigga for real. Do, 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 do. I'm going with for real. And my, my number two. Okay. Well, my number two, I'm going with Timberland. 
that's my number five <laughs> that almost made it. And I've got, I've got another one that I don't know why I didn't think of him. I got another one that when I took Manny, when I crossed off Manny Fresh, because you had already mentioned him, I thought of somebody else that I didn't think to mention, and he could be in my Mount Rushmore easily. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for somebody to say his name. He, he's going to be on one of our Mount Rushmores. I've got another one that's going to be there. Tim Lynn was my number five, though. Ooh. Okay. My number two is Dr. Dre. Oh, that means I think you got your number one is the one that I'm talking about um, because I got Dr. Dre at my number one. Okay. As, it, as do I. Okay. <clears throat> and Wade's got this guy right here, and I bet, I'm bet i willing to bet that this is what he got right there. And I just thought of him. I thought of him late. I thought of him. I didn't. He probably would have been on there had I had I thought of him earlier. Uh, number one, I have Rick Rubin. Ooh, Rick Rubin is in my honorable mention. That is actually a really, really good one. I'm surprised that you have Rick Rubin because he did a lot of stuff before your time. Way and, uh, for a guy that, that this Houdini, <laughs> you would think. <laughs> You would think Rick Rubin wouldn't even make your timeline. I mean, you don't even. Can you name three songs by the Beastie Boys? I mean, really? Uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, Rick Rubin is in my honorable Paul mention. Rick Rubin, you got to fight for your right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, mean, I heard you. I heard you not. You you were froze, so you was, it went real fast. You said Paul Revere, uh, Brass Monkey, and fight for your right. That's yep. it. Fight for your right to party. Um. Yeah, no sleep till Brooklyn. Girls, 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 <laughs> girls. Do 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 do. All I really want is girls. Do 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 do. Everybody forget about that one. <laughs> oh man. Everybody yeah. forget about that one. Oh man, I gotta put that in the mix this weekend. Girls. Do 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 do. That's all I really want is girls. Do. Yeah, they, that was a that was a, that is a classic album that uh, and yeah, Rick Rubin is a great choice though. So. Um, okay, so that but Rick Rubin that's a great choice, man, for him to be at the top dog. So, he also did Rock Box by Run DMC. Rock the Bells. <clears throat> he did a lot of that old stuff. I mean, most of that, most of the Def, no, most of the music that built that Def Jam was built on, was produced by Rick Rubin. Yeah. The majority of it, yeah. That's why I couldn't deny him at number one. Oh, you know, and I, and I can't argue it. I mean, he's he, he's definitely high on my on my. He's one of those that I said as a great area that could have been in my Mount Rushmore. So is this other name that I thought of late. And I'm guessing it's my honorable mention number five, which is RZA. The RZA. That is the one. <laughs> I thought for sure the RZA would be in somebody's. Once I thought of it, when I saw it, I was like, "What the hell? How did I not? How do I not have RZA?" Yeah, I think RZA, RZA definitely could have been in somebody's Mount Rushmore. Um, it originally uh, was until I thought of Kanye West, and then I was like, "Oh <clears throat> man, I'm a fan of both of their stuff." I was debating between Kanye and Pharrell. Um, but I went with Pharrell mostly because uh, of because Kanye was mostly because of himself and Jay Z, whereas Pharrell it was mostly quite frankly, I I kind of xed out Jay Z because they both did some did some major hits with Jay Z, but it was more of the shit he did with Snoop. I think he really revived Snoop's career because after after the No Limit thing didn't work out because he learned a lot about business with No Limit. But Snoop wasn't a good fit for their production style. It, that right. showed that Snoop Snoop didn't really fit everything. And then he started doing do the beautiful and the drop it like it's hot. Started doing shit with with Pharrell, and that was the resurgence of Snoop's career, um, as well as the shit he did with with some of the singers like Usher and uh, <clears throat> I mean he did some joints, man. So that's what put Pharrell over Kanye for me. Yeah, and Dre was my number one from Jump Street. I, it was no doubt. As soon as, as soon as you, Dre was my number one when you mentioned it last week. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> that was like a thing pops in my mind. Okay, Dre. Mine too. And then who else? Yeah. Uh, I tell you on the, that my personal Mount Rushmore, if I wasn't just trying to be objective and it was just about me, mm-hmm. this guy would have been in the conversation with Dre. And if Latone was was still alive today, he would already know what I'm about to say. I already know too. <laughs> <laughs> DJ motherfucking quick, baby. I'm telling you, DJ quick. He's my number. DJ quick is my personal favorite. But I, yeah. uh, for Mount Rushmore, I know that he don't belong. But if it was mine. If it was if it was if I was being selfish with it, I'm rolling with quick, baby. Yeah. Quick is me the too. Thing. Who uh, were you about to say he was your what? He he was my number five. Okay, all right, all right. Fair enough. He would have still made my honorable mention, but if it was me being and then my number six, what it Oh sorry, go ahead, bro. Uh, I was gonna say go go ahead, because we was still on quick, so Oh, because I was going to say, if it was me, 100% just my personal Mount Rushmore, number one would have been Riz by far, with Kanye pulling in at two. But that's just because that's what music I was listening to when I really was listening to music. Who were you about to say, Rob? Oh, I was going to say my number six. If we could have had six, my number six would have been Swiss Beats. Swiss beat is right there for me too. He's right up there. I saw my honorable mentions. I got one in honorable mentions that neither one of y'all probably thought of. I got actually I have two more. And y'all probably never thought of these two. Uh what about QD three? When that Quincy Jones son that did a whole lot of the Tupac shit. Mm. Yeah, he did a lot of that Tupac stuff, QD three. That's uh Quincy Jones son. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he did a lot of Pac stuff, um, so, and he also did. I think he did some Jodeci joints too. But yeah, he was so. he was hot for a minute. Uh, Who were you about to say? Oh, I said I believe so. Uh, yeah, I know he did a lot with Pac though. Uh, a pure, a hundred percent honorable mention. Probably doesn't come close to the Mount Rushmore, but doesn't deserve to mention is Eminem. I agree with that. Actually, I agree with that. I, I thought of, I thought of him too. Mm-hmm. I, I thought of him. I didn't put him down this time, but when we were thinking, when I was when I was running names through my head last week, uh, Eminem did come up in my in my because he did he did uh, some joints. Mm-hmm. He did some joints. <clears throat> oh, let's see. What about Jam Master J? Speaking Ooh, of that. Yeah, yeah, he did some joints too. Uh, what about Nas' producer he's been working with, with Hip Boy? Oh, Hip Boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Shit, no doubt. I don't even know how we all missed that one. We all missed Hip Boy. Shit. Hey, Hit Boy must. Looking towards the future, 10 years from now, I could see Metro Boomin finding his way into the conversation. Yeah, they have Metro yeah. Boomin. Yeah. Oh, we, that brings up one that I didn't think of DJ Mustard. Oh, must have known beat, y'all. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't even think of him. That was my guy for a little while. Must have known the beat, y'all. Must have known the beat, ho. Uh, I got one that y'all won't think of. It's, it's, he's honorable mention. He's not Martin Rushmore, but he's definitely done a lot more than people know. In fact, there was one particular song uh, that I didn't use in the P Diddy against Dr. Dre battle that I did with Latone on on uh, Instagram during the pandemic, and he asked about it afterwards. He said, "Why didn't you play Flavor on your ear? Flavor in your ear?" He said, "I was waiting for that," and I said, "Because P Diddy didn't produce that. I was going to go with Flavor in your ear, but that was actually produced by Easy Moby." That's another guy that's on my honorable mention, mm-hmm. Easy Mo B. He goes way back, though, for to, to give y'all something that he did, that a couple of joints he did you might not, you may or may not know. So he did um, 
Miles Davis did a, a did a hip hop style jazz album uh, called uh, Doo Wop. Easy Mo B produced that. He also produced uh, a song that got real popular by Herbie Hancock called Rocket, and it was a it was a real popular instrumental um, that I'm probably gonna have to pull out the crates soon because that was my joint. <laughs> Rocket was a Rocket was a club killer, uh, but yeah, Easy Mo B did both of those, and he also did Flavor in the Air. Y'all know, y'all probably know Rocket. Y'all just don't know it by name. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But uh, here's anybody? another very underrated. Pro- oh, I got one more. Go ahead. Go ahead. A go. very underrated producer from Death Row. Daz Dillinger. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. You right, you right. He sure because he did a lot of the stuff after Dre left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not that's a that's actually a, a decent call. Yeah, and it's a it's that other guy that that rock with Jay too. I mean, to rock with Dr. Dre, uh, Stark Scott something corrupt. Oh, uh, Scott Storage. That guy. I knew you would know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott Storage. Yeah, yeah. So he's him too. He's a he, he's done a lot. He's the one but that was he, he's the one that was mad at Dre for not letting him play the piano during the Super Bowl. Right, because allegedly he did the dun, 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 uh, steel steel the steel Dre beat. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. From uh oh yeah, he did that one and then he did the uh Tupac one. I ain't mad at you. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Yep. But see, that was done before too, because that's the same beat Blackstreet used for tonight is the night. Don't leave, no, don't leave me, girl. Don't leave me, girl. Please oh. stay. They used the same beat. Do 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 but check this out. As Herbie Hancock Rocket and that is produced by Easy Moby. I'm gonna do that's all y'all getting because they gonna they gonna they gonna mute <laughs> they gonna count in Russia again. <laughs> and they gonna mute my shit. So that's all y'all getting right there. That's all y'all getting is that little piece right there. <laughs> Well, if you guys I don't know that. what now. I I gotta find it again. The song that I that I, I played at the beginning. I just happened to because be, last week when we before we did the show, I was just playing music, right? And there was a song that was on, and I just I was playing that, and I used it like the theme song for the waiver, and it was banging. I was when I watched the show like that. I gotta find that song again. I have no idea what it is because it was something that I pulled off of a uh, off of off of. of, of Latone's hard drive, so I had no idea what the song was, and I, I gotta find it again. Oh. It was banging and it worked. Yeah, go back through your history. Virtual DJ has a history. I don't go like that with my. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. If we don't got more uh, honorable mentions or producers to bring up, that's all Those I got are... for you guys this week. I don't have an idea of what we're going to be covering in the next time on the way. We forgot one major producer. Go ahead. Who you got? Little John. Oh, that's a major one. That is huge. That's a huge one. Yeesh. He's borderline on the, on the Mount Rushmore. Yep. Jeez. Wow, that's a big one. That's huge. Big miss. Big miss, big miss. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be others we think of uh, that are big miss, like Rodney Jenkins. Uh, there's going to be some others that we think of, uh, but I think that I think we did a good list, though. I think we yeah. did a good list. Once again, running back, my Mount Rushmore was uh, Diddy, Kanye, Pharrell, and Dr. Dre. Who was yours, Big uh, Rob? Four five. <laughs> uh, 
is Manny Fresh, David Banner, um, Timberland, and Dr. Dre. All right. And then Waze. Uh, I had Kanye West, DJ Premier, Dr. Dre, and Rick Rubin. And that is the Mount Rushmore's of the whole Mount Rushmore's of hip hop beat makers. And uh, on that note, man, we got anything else, Wade? Uh, next time we convene, uh, reconvene for the Waze verse, we're going to go over our Mount Rushmore of NBA greats. Oh, oh. Well, that one's easy. <laughs> Dylon, 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 and Dylon. LeBron, 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 LeBron. <laughs> Isaiah, 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 Isaiah. I'm going all uh, her pistons. Uh, so <laughs> that means he's going to have Rasheed Wallace and Ben Wallace on there too. Ooh. There you go. There you go. No, I'm going, I'm going vintage. I'm going with like Vinny Johnson and, and uh, Chill Cut, Dave Bean. Um, so anyway, <laughs> Any, anyway, man, this was a lot of fun, man. I want to thank y'all for joining us. Uh, this is the Ways Verse. I'm your boy, OG Tim Wilson. And on behalf of the Nasty Boys, Ways and Rob 405, we are out of here until next time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, we got some big things happening. Uh, once I get back, once I get back. I can't perform every week. I can't perform every day uh, like I used to because cause I'm I'm struggling, man. But I'm not. I am healed. That's what my, my spiritual advisor told me, to just no longer say that I'm struggling. Every time I think that I say I'm struggling, just say I'm healed because uh, healing is on the way and I'm getting better. And, um, and it's going to go. It's going to happen for me. And we'll be back in full strength. And uh, on that note, man, I just want to say peace out, pressure crease out, keep the police out while I bust his knees out. We out of here like last year. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like what you see if you like what you see, and we out, yo.